Hello YouTubers, Metal Seven Four is back once again. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Damn, it's hot out. God. Well, I'm reading another article, and this is probably one of the one of the most outrageous ones I've ever read. Probably next to the one which was Banana Boy, which I did back in September. Uh, this time, a kid in Colorado was suspended for three days because he sang the song to a girl, I'm Sexy and You Know It, which is by that band El Movio. They're the one that does the shot song. Shot, 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 shot. Anyway, back on topic. Uh, anyway, they suspended him and said it was sexual harassment when he was singing that. And then I'm saying to myself, what the fuck? Sexual harassment for singing a song like that? It's like, okay. Is it really necessary to do that? I mean, like, think about it. Isn't that, like, something that's enough for a simple warning? Maybe no recess or, uh, maybe even a little bit of detention, but suspension for that? What the fuck? You know, this is one thing I've learned about the public school system. You know, why does it seem like every little problem, it's a mistake, it's an error, it was harmless, it has to be solved with punishment, you know? What happened to warnings? I mean, I sang songs in, in school. Hell, I think, as you can see, I was listening to metal since I was a kid. I remember singing a Metallica song, and hey, they didn't suspend me or send me to the principal's office. God. See, if we have to raise our kids this way, it's not going to work out. See, it sounds like that when you send your kid to a public school, it's not you're going to learn. It's like you're going to, it's like obey or perish. And that's not right. You know? I mean, there is no point in that. God. Damn it. God, I mean, like, the school system, they can't take jokes. They can't let the kids have any fun. It's all, they have to have their panties so wound up in a bunch that the second they see something, it's like, that's sexual harassment. Yeah. I guess this kid's not lucky he's not on the sex offenders list. God. I mean, well, you know what, America? I told you this once. I'm going to say it again. Okay? For the education system. You got what you fucking paid for, okay? You want cheap education? Enjoy it, okay? Stop complaining, okay? This is obviously not getting us anywhere, okay? You're not interested in solving any real, real problems, okay? You're just interested in trying to take away kids' rights to have fun and all that. That's all you're doing, okay? It seems like when, when bullying happens and fights, no problem. But when somebody sings a song or runs around on their football field, it obviously turns into a serious offense. Yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, you know, everything you see on TV these days, it don't matter what channel you turn it on. It don't matter what they're, what's, what's marketed. Kids are going to see it. They're going to hear it. Okay, I'm sure on Nickelodeon, I'm sure they have some cartoon or some commercial with some girl in a bikini or something that's suggestive or a little tab sexual. I mean, come on, this stuff is everywhere. You know? Unbelievable that they still act like this. You know? I think because their fear of either getting sued or being thrown in jail. I wouldn't worry about either. Okay? I worry about those parents trying to sue your asses. Anyway, YouTubers, um, have a good good weekend. I'll answer your questions and comments if I can. Adios, motherfuckers.